Welcome to Redditch. Today is a different kind of day. Instead of racing, I'm marshalling. So I'm here in Redditch and there's the inaugural 10K and half marathon race today here. And it hasn't really aligned with my training schedule. As you might be able to hear, I'm still a little bit out of sorts. So it's actually worked out quite well. And I, I've never marshaled. I've never, I've never volunteered before. So it's going to be, a, I think, a really... A really good day today. I'm really excited to see some friendly faces, some familiar faces. I'm looking forward to seeing those that are going out to try and win it uh, and everyone else who's doing their first ever run and everyone in between. It's just going to be, I think, a really fun, uh, a fun filled morning. So I'm about to go out over to check in at the volunteer desk. I'm doing this race with run through events who you probably have heard of. Uh, the best thing about run through is obviously it's a volunteer role but the payment is the best possible payment for a volunteer thing like this you get a free race entry to anything that run through do so i've got my eye on one in the future and but as for now but you guys are probably here to know what marathon i've signed up to well skip to the end if you can't wait but if you can and you want to watch this vlog unfold and I'm going to give you some clues to try and work it out. So your first clue, it's in October. Here we are on my street corner, is this the first lot? Here comes the leading bike. Looking good, gang. Come on, Brett, good lad. Looking good, everyone. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, son. Enjoy. Looking good, guys. Morning, everybody. Morning. Enjoy. Morning. Morning. So, clue number two. Let me just do this for you before they start. So, clue number two, what can I give you? Um, it's not in England. The marathon I've signed up to is not in England. Right, this is exciting, 10K. The winner of the 10K or the leader of the 10K is expected any second. We'll see the lead bike coming up the hill. And that is rapid. Here's the lead bike. It's 10.02, so it's 32 minutes with, what, three, 400 meters to go? This is a rapid performance, here they are. Insane performance, man. Good lad, keep going, mate. You know how in Love Actually, Hugh Grant says, you should go to Heathrow Airport to find the spirit of people. Come to watch a race, the, uh, the end of a race, the emotions that people are going through is just nothing short of amazing. Well done, everyone. This is brilliant work. You're so nearly there. There's your last corner. There's your last corner. Go and get it. Go and get it. Well done, everyone. Two minutes to your beer. Everyone's been saying, literally everyone, this is like one of the hardest halves or 10K that, that, that they've ever done. What are the chances of getting a PB on said course? <laughs> Not very high, but this man, Brett, has done it. How did you get on today? Yeah, I think I did sub 122, which is a PB, so That's... I don't know how I've done that. But... <laughs> That's insane. Honestly, seeing you come up that hill, he's just let me into a little secret that this is where he does his hill reps <laughs> so there's method in the madness and um no congratulations Thanks, man Thank that's you. a seriously seriously tidy time so you you're gonna go celebrate today well uh, i've uh, got another race in a couple of weeks so i can't you? celebrate too much yeah yeah all right I've, i entered the Essex 10k down in london did you so we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes yeah so you're just going to recover yeah. and try and build back up for yeah. that nice one check this guy's channel out. what's your channel called uh, obi-wan brand obi-wan brand check this guy out superb Amazing runner.
That was amazing. Well, there you have it. We are finished. Five hours later. That was a bit of a shift, but it went so quickly because it was just so much fun. And yeah, volunteering for Run Through Done. It was awesome to meet loads of people, including Matty, who's in charge of things at Run Through. Uh, just to really, I would massively recommend volunteering just to, you know, without giving you too much of a guilt trip, just to give a bit back because races don't really happen without volunteers. So happy that I managed to do it. I know what you're thinking, can I have my third clue please? Well, clue number three is, it is regarded as the flattest, if not one of the flattest international marathons in Europe. I'll tell you when I get home. Well, a week has passed since I volunteered at the Redditch 10K and Half Marathon. What an event that was, by the way. Really, really good fun to, to, uh, to volunteer at. Uh, but I, I've had a really bad week. My chest infection took a turn for the worse, ended up being you know what, the C word. And I have been laid up in bed. Laura and I have both been struck quite badly with, with COVID this week. And yeah, it just sort of snowballed slowly into, into COVID. I thought I got away with it, but I hadn't. Uh, for those of you that haven't had it, you don't want it. Just let me say that. I always thought it was going to be a little bit of a sniffle and a little bit, it's not as bad as everybody makes out, but that was, that was a bad case of flu. Let me just, I don't know if that helps put it into some sort of relatable kind of feeling, but yeah, that was a bad case of flu. It really was. But anyway, I'm coming out the other end of it and I'm ready to get training for my marathon, which I should have started the 16 week training last week, uh, but obviously that was, that was, I was laid up in bed all week. This week commencing will be 15 weeks to go and whether or not, whether or not I'm going to actually get out and, and start training or not, I'm not sure. It might end up just be a 14 week plan because I'm not getting out running until I feel completely, 100% better because it's just counterproductive. So. The question that you all want to know the answer to, which you might have already worked out, what is my next marathon? Well, I can tell you that it is Amsterdam, baby. On the 16th of October, I'm going to be running 26.2 miles around the Amstel River and around Amsterdam city centre, starting and finishing in the Olympic Stadium. And I'm so excited. I think that the, the attraction and the allure of doing a, not only a huge international marathon, but a, a, a race that is in another country, I think is the clincher for me. And I can't wait. Laura and I will be going out there. Well, we haven't worked out the logistics yet, but the, the, the days and weeks leading up to the race themselves will be quite fun. We're gonna try and integrate a little bit of travel because our diaries are normally quite quiet around about October, so it should work out nicely. And along the way, I've actually got a couple of races. You might remember me getting into the Great North Run on my last training block. Well, obviously that's happening on September the 10th or 11th, I wish, or the 12th. I'm not actually sure of the date of that, but I've got the Great North Run, which I'm beyond excited about. I've got my hometown half marathon, which is Worcester, that's happening the week before. Uh, and I've got a couple of other things on the way, along the way. And this training block is not gonna go anywhere near as similarly as the last one I did for Brighton. This is one's gonna be slightly, slightly different. Uh, at this point in time, I'm not bothered about a time goal pacing or any of that yet. I'm not even thinking about it. Maybe, Maybe it won't even come into my head. Maybe I'll just want to just race Amsterdam and just enjoy it and then look to the spring to book another marathon, maybe to think about, you know, beating a time goal then. Because I still don't know how I'm going to be feeling. This COVID at the moment really has knocked me for six. So whether I'm hitting the ground running, whether I'm, you know, not even running with, I don't know, 10 weeks to go, I might still be struggling you know, right up until the uh, until the end, because I really don't know how my lungs and my body's going to react to having COVID. But I'm really excited. The Amsterdam will be happening 
in some way, shape or form. And I'm just looking forward to documenting the, the road to Amsterdam. As many of you will have watched before with Brighton, I remember just improving from start to finish because I followed a training plan. I'll be following a training plan that's very similar, which I will have to tailor uh, because of my illness and because of, uh, because of life getting in the way. So I will have to doctor it slightly. Uh, but I'm looking forward to just having a structure and having a goal and having a target to, uh, of the 16th of October to get to the start line. And it's been so long since I've had anything like that to work towards because this summer, it's now the 3rd of July. I haven't run for four weeks. I had two weeks off after, now the last bit of running I did was the Woolacombe Dunes Park run. I had two weeks off because I said to myself, I just want to relax and um, and then I want to hit the rest of June and then just start introducing some, some, some light training before the training block happens. Then I had a chest infection, then bang, this week has turned into to COVID. And next week, who knows if I'm going to be running yet. But all I can say is I'm excited. I, this is, I'm really hopeful that Amsterdam is going to try and just lift my spirits. And now I'm just going to focus everything on that. Not everything, because I've got the Great North Run and Worcester, the half marathon. So I do obviously want to do fairly well in them, if I can but it's not the be all and end all. That's the thing with running, it never is. There are always some more important things than running, but I don't want to belittle the sport of running because the sport of running is what really excites me. So as much as I don't really want to get bogged down in times, pacing and, and, and that sort of thing, um, I, I still want to try hard, I still want to work hard and I want to, want to make sure that I make it to Amsterdam in the, the best shape and the best form of me I possibly can. So in the meantime, I will see you in the next one. I've got a whole new training series for you guys. Remember the week by week training uh, videos that I would release? Well, they're coming back and I'm looking forward to making them. It's been ages since I feel like I've made any content. And yes, I'm just really, really mega excited for all of this to kick back off again. So Thanks for your patience. I haven't uploaded a video for nearly a month or three weeks or something like that. And uh, I'm back. I'm not, I'm not out of the game. I'm still in the game just about. So thanks for watching you guys. And I hope that you'll stick along this journey with me uh, that's leading into the autumn to Amsterdam. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be, it's gonna be mega. So if you've run Amsterdam before, please, let me know what I can expect, because I've got no idea. Everything from travel, accommodation, uh, the race itself, uh, the, the atmosphere, everything. Let me know, uh, because I don't really have a great deal of knowledge about it. And similarly, I'm excited to hit the ground running and get started on this training plan. So I'll see you soon. See you real soon, hopefully. Hopefully this week means I can get back on the road. Yeah, with some more train videos. So now you know, it's Amsterdam. I'll see you on the next one, kids. Ta-da.